So here goes Karlin Sulek and Bits, those in particular who are battling. So the uh, Swiss Karlin, 5.604 after six events. Her lifetime best, 2.17 from Gutsis, the specialist hypo meeting three years ago. Very close, just a tenth off that in Eugene, where she set a new national record. So if she achieves that lifetime best, she'll get 6,463 points. But Sulek, maybe she can go a few seconds faster. 2.07.18 in Eugene. So 10 seconds on paper. So that's why my prediction is that Sulek is the favorite to be lifted up into that silver spot. And uh, Vids, just maybe she can challenge also. We've got Bianca Salming, out front there, who's uh, developing into a great international heptathlete, but uh, with some strengths clearly in the high jump and the javelin and some other events to work on. So 63-43 uh, as they came through the bell. Just having a look here at the predictions. So Carlin still in a good position and uh, fairly close behind Sulek, who's the first of the two Polish runners in the red and white. But so, so close. At this point, uh, you can see 60 points separating. Krishan also doing well, coming in in sixth place overall. And she needs to be nine seconds ahead of uh, Sulek to try and get a medal. Carlin the more likely to drop down. We'll see how she hangs on on this second lap. Certainly that gap remaining around the same with Vids uh, also trying to move up. Nafi Tiam, well, she can afford to job home, to be honest. But Sulek now going to come through. Carlin trying to summon some strength and some fight to hold on to her medal. Great performance, though, from Adriana Sulek, who's had a terrific season. 209.49 for her, so close to her lifetime best from an athlete who uh, went close to going out of the competition in the long jump, produced a thrilling 6.55 to stay in and stay in contention. As we wait for these 800 meter times to come up and uh, the computers to do the numbers. Sulek, she always brings such character and personality to the competition. So Sulek, 209.49, worth 972 points. Witz, right behind her, 209.63, worth 970. So those two will stay in the same order. Zenia Krishan, a season's best, 210.90, 951 points. So she could well move up on uh, Sophie Weisenberg, the German. But we can say that uh, Tiam, another European title for her. At one point, she was on target for the championship best performance. Slipped back after the long jump, only 6.08. But Carlin's score has come up 213.73, 911 points. So it looks like Sulek has moved in front. And that gap wasn't much, 44 points. And it looks like Sulek has. Uh, gone in front by 17 overall. It's uh, another new national record though for Anik Karlin, 6,515 points. So credit to Adriana Sulek doing what we expected. That was the major change that was predicted to happen. Norvitz, somewhat unlucky for her to be in fourth place where she was in Tokyo. No surprise to see her looking dejected. But Nafi Tiam, such a joy to watch, really. And an athlete who seemed to have a couple of weak events traditionally, but this year she's become a better sprint hurdler and a better 800-meter runner. So brilliant to see her get yet another title. Look, a disappointment for Norvitz. He needed around about two and a half seconds. Over Anik Tallon, maybe even a little bit more. She just couldn't quite manage to open up you know, big enough of a gap on the track in that 800 ahead of Anik Callen. Anik Callen of Switzerland stuck to her task so, so well. 
And just brilliant to see her at this stage of the season after a busy year, hitting a national record again for Switzerland and a bronze medal. And wonderful emotion from Adriana Silla because she realised she'd got herself into the silver medal position in this heptathlon. That's the 800 metre results we've seen Nakatiam. Not much to fight for, 217, but easily enough for the gold medal. Yeah, so Nafi Tiam is now a two-time Olympic, two-time world and two-time European champion.